Hello and welcome to another Full Being tutorial. In this session I'm going to demonstrate how I use Irfan View to create a simple slideshow. So first I'm going to navigate to the location where I've stored the photographs that I'm going to put in this album. There they are. Uh, now I'm going to open Irfan View. And I'm going to click on File, Batch Conversion Rename. Then I'm going to navigate to wherever I put those pictures. I'm going to uh, first convert them into thumbnails. So I need to make them smaller and I need to give them a distinct name. So I'm going to click on Batch Conversion. I'm going to click on Advanced. I'm going to click on Resize and set the size to 3%. I'll click OK and then I'm going to indicate where I want these things to be placed. Um, and you can see that I've created the output directory here. If you want it someplace else, click Browse and navigate to wherever you want that to be. So that I can identify the thumbnails in the name pattern, I'm going to add a T at the end of the file name. These are all the images that I'm going to use. I'm going to click Add All to copy them into the lower window. Then I'm going to click Start Batch. And with this, all of the images have been given a corresponding thumbnail. That's done. I'll click Exit Batch. Now I need to rename the original images, uh, changing whatever my camera name was to the appropriate name uh, to work on my slideshow. So once again, I'll, I'll click in Irfan View, I'll click on Batch Conversion Rename. Uh, the same folder that I used originally for my original pictures. Uh, should still be there. I'm going to click on name pattern removing the T and this time I don't want to resize anything I just want to rename it so I'm going to click on batch rename making sure that the order is the same as it was when I made the thumbnails. I'll add the images to be renamed to the lower folder and then click on Start Batch making sure that the output directory is also the same. That's done. Now I'm going to exit out of Irfan View and I'll navigate to the place where I put all these images you can see it here. It's the same folder that contained the index that came in the package that I that you've uh, you're using. So click on index and you'll see the results. If I click on the thumbnail you'll get a much larger image. Too large to display on this screen, but it'll work fine when it's on the web. If you want more information about how to use uh, this program, click on the how to link. 
and that describes in greater detail the various steps. I hope that you found this tutorial to be useful.